What's next? How do you switch over in a short period of time and get away from a system that has taken us literally a hundred years to build? There's people working on the electric uh, car. That, that's getting rid of the internal combustion engine. What would you do with the 710 million internal combustion engines in just cars and trucks in Europe and North America? What would you do with them? You can't put them in a dump. So, no, you, you've got to start with what you've got. And um, maybe there will come a time where uh, a new fuel or a, a new technology will, will uh, completely revolutionize. I mean, that's what happened with the combustion engine. You know, we got away from horses and got away from steam, but it's a long way off. And economically, the world, the world can't sustain that. So this type of an approach is the most common sense approach of all. It will bridge the gap between the technology that exists today, the need to find some fuel reduction, the need to reduce greenhouse gases in particular, and whatever technology will be developed, invented, discovered in a decade, in another generation. A lot of people are working on this type of technology, but it's not there yet. And our technology is available right now, ready for the market, and will do and accomplish what we say it will. Right now, uh, especially folks in North America, they are, they're they're going to look for any way that they can reduce their, their uh, bill at the pump. And they're also going to be uh, more and more concerned to uh, reduce emissions uh, in city centers. And so I think the world is, is ready. The message that has to go out is that the government must, must, must do what they have to do to advance not only our technology, but any technology that will reduce greenhouse gases, because the most important thing for the future of our country, for our generation, is our children. And we as adults have to think of that technology and make the world a better, safer, cleaner world for our children. The philosophy of our company is uh, you can make a lot of money, but if you can't breathe, it doesn't matter. So the thing that we want to do is let's clear the air. For more information, contact us at www.ihsresearch.com, email info at ihsresearch.com, or phone 204-786-6392.